underground, underground, underground dialogue. We gon' tell the truth. We ain't scared like a lot of y'all. Matters who they are. Do we bow? No, nope. not at all. Dropping bombs on this wicked world, so it gotta fall. Underground, underground, underground dialogue. We gon' tell the truth. We ain't scared like a lot of y'all. Matters who they are. Do we bow? No, nope. not at all. Dropping bombs on this wicked world. Going so on, it gotta man. Man, you was uh hitting me to this story, man, out here in the Houston area. Man, it's about, sad. Yeah, man, yeah. What, it's what, sad, what's up it's with sad, that? It's sad. They had a six year old kid uh, that his mama had found out he was getting sexually assaulted on the back of the school bus for months. In so all in all Dean. Yeah, it's in all Dean. Yeah, yeah. yeah a black lady, you know, and it, it's, it's a sister. You know, it was sad to see because the kid's only six years old. He was getting raped by a twelve year old student mm -hmm. on there. For months, and the only way they found out is because he had left or lost his his uh, backpack, and they thought it was on the bus. So she had contacted the bus department to uh, try to locate that backpack. And when they checked the cameras, yeah. that's what they found, man. And it's yeah, you, you know, know I mean? it's it's it's, it's yeah. messed up when a child loses their innocence at six, man, just forcefully yeah. like that, man. You. you Six years old is so young, bro. Like we here, this is this just started 2023. Mm -hmm. So that means that if you go back to 2016, this young man wasn't even born. born yeah, huh? that's how quick yeah. six years is. So he really he's so new in life, and to have his innocence just taken because like we was talking about off camera. Yeah. That's one of the things, uh, those kind of molestations and all yeah. that, whether it be on a, a boy or a girl, those are the kind of things that lead to all kind of other yeah, like uh, sexual street, identity. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Crisis and just later on um, for, for females, like promiscuity mm -hmm. and all that type of stuff, man. So it's sad when, when a young person don't even get a chance. And the school system doesn't have anything in place to protect those young babies like that, yeah. you know, because I, I and I, you know, I don't and, and I don't like to speculate because I'm just getting hip to the story. But my my mind frame is always on, mm -hmm. like I know I didn't catch the school bus a lot when I was young. I walked to school, yeah. or I catch the metro or whatever. But yeah. by the time the few times I, I did end up on the school bus, mm -hmm. the bus drivers was always kind of yeah. on top of things. Like, were they? Know? Yeah, yeah, they were on top. I mean, when I was a few times, I, so the slightest little ruckus that goes on, mm -hmm. they like uh, stop the bus, yeah, come back there. What's going on? So for him to be able to to not just do that once, yeah. but allegedly repeated times, yeah, what's going on with the bus driver to where you not nobody is peeping this if it if it's speculated that that he's done this multiple times, man. Man, I will, when I was growing up, I rode the bus. I rode other people's buses as well, too, because yeah. we was in most cities, so we had, I, I was all around there. So, in in our days, though, on the bus, if we was on the back of the bus, hell, the bus driver, we just throw stuff at the bus driver, we just throw stuff out the window at police cars, we just get out the back, we open up that back door and walk out sometimes. That bus driver, we get that bus driver. Hell, right. we be fighting up on there. I can see how it happened, but I can't see how nobody could see this shit going on. Yeah, because there got to be other students yeah. on the bus, right? Yeah, because it's a whole, especially in the back of the bus. This back then we had no, no, uh, we had no seat belts or nothing like that. Bro, the bus yeah. be packed. Be packed, especially in the back. Yeah, yeah. So how could you even put? You know what, man? Like I say, it, it's it's a bad situation. It shouldn't happen, but. The, the the school system. I saw where the mother said she felt like she failed yeah, her child, yeah. but and and I understand how a mother would feel like that, but I don't put that on the mother. Yeah, she I can't get on the back of the bus. I put it on the on the on the school district on the school bus. I put it on them. Yeah, but even what you said earlier, the bus driver got to have some kind of accountability about that yeah. because they actually is the only adult on that bus. Yeah. You know. And, and, and then all these years, bro, just like you said back in the day when the bus yeah. was buck wild and all oh, yeah, that. Yeah, we was buck wild in the back of the bus. We were throwing stuff at the bus job. This is my thing. Yeah. It would seem like in this day and age, you would have the bus driver, but you would have one more adult stationed on uh, the bus, within the bus somewhere. That the good idea. Good idea. Why haven't that been implemented after all these 
ten thousand years that yeah. the school bus has been around. One thing they did was put that camera up in there. Now. Yeah, well, the yeah. camera. See, the yeah. camera. Uh, clearly, the camera didn't make yeah. a, didn't, didn't stop nothing. Yeah. You know, the camera just revealed what was happening after the fact. Yeah. But now, this little boy got to deal with that for the rest, for of, life. rest of his life, yeah. and his mother got to deal with that for, for the rest of her life because it's gonna eat her up too. She feeling like yeah. because whatever. God forbid, whatever God forbid happens to this little boy that transforms him because of that abuse, yeah. um, that's something that she got to see yeah, every day yeah. based on that. And to take it a step further, what a lot of people might not be thinking about, the 12-year-old who did it to him, yeah. he got some stuff going on with him possibly that was happening to him to lead to him doing that to the 6-year-old. Yeah, so it's, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's a messed up thing well, even when you think about the twelve year old, like yeah. he was, it was messed up. He was wrong, and blah, blah, blah. But I'm certain that at the root of his actions mm. is something that's going yeah. on yeah. with him. So it's it's tough, man. Yeah. It's tough, man. Hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. mean, what 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 can you do, man? And um, you can't you can't you can't get it back, bro. You can't reverse it. You can't. He gonna need a lot of counseling, and that, and that ain't guaranteed to, to make make much of a difference. Yeah. But we can't do nothing but pray for him, man. A lot of times you that age and you get that sexual stimulation, you know, you you, you it, it it's probably you know it's good and bad yeah. in that in it because it's confusing at that time. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's it's like something being activated in yeah. you. Put it like this. I feel like that that represents it naturally. Mm -hmm. It's like something that is a time release yeah. that's based on when your physical anatomy starts to develop. Mm -hmm. Then it that develops along with it a time release. Yeah. When that's activated or when that was when that's forced yeah. beforehand, exactly. Then you have not nature out of whack yeah. by doing that. You know, it's like it's like kind of not the same, but kind of similar to when they um. When they pump cows and chickens full of drugs and hormones to make them grow real quicker, fat, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like this in this particular case, you have fast forwarded that process where a six year old child shouldn't even know the word sex. Exactly, it ain't even pre, it ain't, pre, it ain't even, what's it called puberty yet? Yeah, right, right. Yeah. It's because the body haven't even that part of the body have not even activated yet. Yeah. That seed haven't even germinated in the, yeah. in, a, in a child, you know. So. That twelve years old, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, but 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 something happened. To, I'm, I guarantee you, something happened to that twelve year old as well, man. And it, and it's somebody at the root yeah. of why he did that too. So it's it's help to be had all the way around, man. And they say CPS is looking into it now yeah, on yeah. both sides. So yeah, and, and CPS yeah. CPS shouldn't go after the mother, the victim. Yeah, but they may investigate. The parents of the um, the assailant, the one who carried it out, yeah. and um, because they're gonna now be looking at like again, what's going on in y'all house? Yeah, you got to. Why, what's the deal? Why, why would he do this? Yeah, this ain't normal. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What are y'all? What y'all got popping? But nowadays, you gotta also think about this. Nowadays, all these kids are getting raised by the internet, so they yeah. you can play the video game, get on porn sites. Yeah. You can get on your phone, get on porn sites. Uh, good point. Man, they got they got all you can watch for these days. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah well, God bless, man. Yeah. What up, man? It's your big brother, K. We're going to have a hey, key store in the door. Underground Dialogue Podcast. As y'all can see, man, the merch is in. We got hoodies. We had some hoodies on these boys, man. So look, if y'all want to get some of this Underground Dialogue Podcast merchandise, y'all need to jump on it. Let them know what they got. You just go to the website. It's called undergrounddialogue.com. And pictures, whatever you need, we got you right there, man. Come and help support the Under Underground Dialogue podcast. And, man, get some of this cold-ass merch, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We ain't playing with it, man. Look, look. All grassroots. All grassroots, man. You know what I'm saying? These are different. See, this is, this is the logo. And this, this is the logo. Of the, the corporate look. So, whatever y'all need, different colors. We want to be like this right around time, just in time for winter. Underground right in time for Christmas. Go to undergrounddialogue.com. Get yours today. Salute. Uh huh. I wonder if they ready. They ain't ready to have this conversation.
What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. And check this out, man. The Underground Dialogue Podcast is offering advertising opportunities, man. You can promote your business. You can promote your video, your song, whatever it is that you have, man. Reach out to us if you're interested in promoting on the Underground Dialogue Podcast. All you got to do is email us at undergrounddialoguepodcast at gmail.com. Get it.